Jason, do you uh, consider this a good loss or a loss that the team needed? No, uh, we uh, played well enough for a good portion of it. Then, um, you know, the second half in the fourth quarter, we didn't. They got hot. They got in the rhythm, and uh, you know, we didn't make enough plays. Well, look, we'll look through. Kind of, if you could take us through that last possession, sort of what you saw on it and how it played out for you. Uh, played out. Um, it was unfortunate. Thought I got fouled, but they didn't think I got fouled, and it's tough. Because we got would have had to tip in, so uh, it's just a weird way to end the game. But you know, they always say the game isn't won or lost on the last play. It's a lot of things that we didn't do well um, in that fourth quarter that put us in that position. Were you trying to get into something sooner than how it played out that way, or is it just sort of what you got serious on you? You were trying to get a clean look at that point. Yeah, I was just trying to get a clean look. Um, hindsight probably should have went a little bit earlier to give us more time and. Uh, Maybe another opportunity. The issue of crunch time offense has come up uh, several times over the years for you guys. How do you think you guys have, have grown in that area, and where do you guys still need to improve there? Uh, we're not perfect, but we've done a better job this season. Um, Could have did a better job tonight. Maybe our space and the execution, working to get a great shot. Uh, you know, you got to do that every single time. Why do you think that keeps coming up? The, the issue, the questions about crunch time offense. Uh, I think we, we, we've been pretty good this year in crunch time offense. Uh, but tonight, uh, just, you know, we didn't do a good, a good enough job. And that's OK, uh, as long as we respond and, and fix it. Do you want to be in more situations like this between now and the playoff? Just because through the streak, you've been blowing teams away. You haven't been in you know, tense situations in a long time. I mean, if we play a close game throughout, that's cool. But you know, I don't want to blow a 20-point lead. So no. Nah. You uh, came out really hot in the first half there, and then struggled for your shot, shot in the second. Was it anything they were doing that kind of threw out you off for them there? Uh, it just went cold. I feel like I had some good looks, some some good shots, uh, good looks. Uh, you know, I was making them first half and didn't make them in the second half. And then for that last, you know, for the last play there, you talked about like Joe talked about him wanting to get into stuff faster there. It's happened a couple of times over the years where you guys have kind of gotten into stuff late and when you're down by a point there. What's what's the balance for you and what can what are things that you can do to like, you know, you know, speed things up there or just get into actions faster? Just be aware. I mean obviously I knew how much time was on the clock, but uh you know, probably just should have went a little faster just in case some shit like that happened and uh, maybe we have more time or maybe another opportunity. First way three, or maybe even the first two. Maybe that's even part of the game plan. But um, how do you think he kept getting open? He made all, all five of them at the end, and they were all pretty good looks. Yeah, I mean, tip your hat off to him. He had some tough shots, some shots off the dribble that, you know, uh, you got to give up some. You're not just going to shut down everybody. And, uh, you know, he, he stepped up big for his team tonight and hit some big shots, and he was hot. And, Basket got bigger. Where you taking, where you taking the Denver? Where am I taking the Denver? Yeah, I mean, considering the last time you played, you played them at home was the last second game. Tonight was the last second game. Do you, do you hope to get something like this out of your system? Maybe to execute a little bit tighter in that situation. Just hope to bounce back from the night. Uh, it's a lot of things that we know we can clean up and um, didn't necessarily play like ourselves that second half. Uh, and. You know, this year we've done a really good job of responding, so I look forward to us responding and playing better on Thursday. In the fourth quarter, you guys usually don't get misses. You get the cross match you want early on. You just kind of set up the play to just target that cross match. But when Wade is hitting every single shot, what do you try to, like, at what point do you try to think, like, maybe we need to call an actual, like, play set or, like, stuff that's kind of a little bit more complicated to go at the defense? Yeah, I mean, it's tough because normally we like to play in transition, like you said, cross matches, but. We uh, we weren't getting many stops, and that and that's tough. And their defense was set, um, and they're you know physical, long team. Um, so I mean, we're gonna watch film tomorrow, talk about it. It's clearly, a lot of things we could have done better, and uh, look forward to responding Thursday. Presented by your New England Ford dealers, built for America, built Ford proud.